So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this new video. So I'm trying a little bit of a kind of different vlog and I'm currently designing my own charging case. That one is the V1 case I designed two years ago. Now I'm making a newer one. So it's basically a case with integrated chargers, integrated, you know, connectors and stuff to just have uh, the best charging experience as an FPV pilot without a mess and uh, you know saves a lot of time. Now I'm making an improved version. So enjoy! Welcome to this pretty raw and authentic day in the life. Today we want to make like an adapter 3D printed where we can put all these three cables perfectly nice and tight into it and uh, we are able you know to to plug in some uh, some batteries here so that is definitely on today's to do and um, yeah and then let's see how much more we can make I eventually also try to do like a, a more a better version of the of the main plate and the cool thing is that really helped a lot I was basically yeah, writing with the manufacturer of the case to give me, you know, all these holes where we can mount the case inside, uh, the, the main plate. And they didn't only gave me all the sizes, they literally gave me their negative of the case. So that is pretty cool. That's a game changer. So, um, yeah, big thanks to tough case for actually being that transparent and sending these files over. You know, we have here on the right XT90, in the middle we have XT60 and on the left we have XT30. I will just print this real quick, export this one as an STL file here in Fusion and let's save this one. Nice, here we got the file. Then let's quickly open this in the slicer. We already have PETG loaded, put on the printer, print bed should be ready to print, perfect. That's the part, should take a minute until the printer starts printing. And yeah, there's the Bamboo Lab P1S, if you guys are interested in 3D printers, pretty, pretty awesome thing. In general, all the Bamboo Lab printers are pretty sick. Here we have the, the Snapmaker Artisan, also in theory, pretty, pretty sick printer. And uh, the hardware is top notch, really nice, nice design and good looking. Only thing that is really missing out here on this printer is uh, a good software solution. That's just kind of the downside of that one. Um, yeah, it was a lot of manual tuning to getting all the things right. So this this one also prints like good, not as plug and play as uh, the Bamboo Lab printers. And here we also got the A1 Mini again from Bamboo Lab with that kind of automatic swap mod so it this printer has a pretty unique feature now because it can automatically swap the the heated bags uh, the heated beds and yeah pr this is pretty sick so you literally can print fully over the night or maybe even a whole day through and you don't have to do anything manually so yeah for automation and you know maybe one day if i need to make like i don't know more of these cases then uh, that printer right there will be a real game changer. And I also received another package, which is this one right here. That is the, the fire alarm for the case. And this was one of the only black, um, yeah, black fire alarms. So I didn't want to have a white one here, you know, that will be integrated into the into the top of the case here and yeah you know if that is white it will basically destroy the whole yeah the full design of that case you know so i needed a black one and that is i think the correct one also good looking so uh, should be fine all right printer is right now calibrating i think i will use that 10 minutes until this is finished and quickly pack a package for another german fpv pilot almost never Need all five of them, so he will, he will get this one. And um, yeah, that's nice. So 
Also, let me know how you guys basically like these kind of formats. You know, it's just me doing the work I, yeah, just do. And um, yeah, I wanna post more on YouTube as well. So it is, I think, kind of a cool format to watch. And it's not so overly edited, it's just me talking. Let's take a look. Definitely, quality is always awesome with the Bumble app. But yeah, we can eventually already check if that is going to fit. So, XT90. Nice. Yeah, that's perfect. That is very well. Very nice fit. Nice. Same here. Pretty awesome fit. XC30. Also, dude. Okay, maybe a little bit too tight here on the XC30 side. Let's see. Yeah, that is fine. That is a little bit too tight, or it isn't, nice. Yeah, definitely, really nice. Yeah, actually perfect, fully happy with it. Let's put this back into the printer. I really wanna improve the fit of this. I'm not sure if you can see this, but here that one is a little bit pushed inwards here because that is a little bit too long here, XT60. Uh, not big enough. Sending it over again. Next part finished. Ah, so nice. So let's check the fit again. XT90. Basically same fit. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally perfect, man. This looks so sick. So as you can see here, we got the that kind of seam in here and that is now perfectly holding the connectors in place without yeah the plug itself you know being able to to push out this should also be quite strong yeah it's perfect oh man i love 3d printing man this is so sick so now we need something that basically puts all three of these basically together and uh, so we have like a, a good fit here on that one Let's design, design this. All right, guys, printer is printing the next file already. Just started it a minute ago. Will take now, yeah, around an hour. And um, it is basically this part right here. So that's basically what I designed for the last hours. And um, let me show you. So that is basically as you can see here, this part, which is the balancer holder. So here we got, you know, the balancer holder in there. Here on that part, you can see on the right side, we have the, the XT60 and 30 and stuff connector holder. The new file is basically, as you can see, both combined, just next to each other. And then, because right now, if we plug something in, you know, it can easily slip down here, you know, plug it in. And uh, we needed a solution for that. So I've designed this part right here that basically should hold both in place. So it just slips into all these XT connectors here. So you can slide it in from the side and as well also should hold the, the balancer boards as well in place. So yeah, so that part should really basically fix it all together. And um, yeah, we will see how this is turning out and then use that four times and can integrate this into the main plate of the charging case. We will see in about an hour. Next parts are here. This is a millimeter too big, basically. We need to get rid of this and print again. Let's quickly print this one out so we can put that one in and check that. And I have to say the fit for this really nice. So it is literally, it is perfect. Couldn't be better. And um, yeah, worked out pretty nice. 
So now I just, you know, that is basically the view what we will see from the cases perspective. Right now I'm tired. It is already 11 p.m. here. So yeah, that basically took me around 12 to 14 hours just to, you know, make this. <laughs> so it was a productive day and um, yeah, I'm quite happy how this turned out. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, um, I'm out for today. I'm a little bit uh, too tired to clearly speak English right now. So see you guys soon for the next video and uh, have a good night. Peace.